The U.S. Air Force has confirmed that it executed its last scheduled end-to-end -end trial launch of a live AGM-183A air-launched rapid response weapon, Aero, hypersonic missile earlier this week. The missile was launched from a B-52H bomber operating from the strategically significant U.S. Pacific Island territory of Guam. Viewers may note that a few days ago, images of the weapon in Guam appeared on the internet and there was widespread speculation about an impending test. This development comes amidst uncertainty surrounding the future of Aero, with indications suggesting the possibility of a subsequent program that might already be underway. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why U.S. military test-firing Aero from Guam is a big message for China. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. As per a U.S. Air Force official, on March 17th, local time, a B-52H Stratofortress conducted a test of the all-up round AGM-183A air-launched rapid response weapon at the Reagan test site close to Kwajalein Atoll. The bomber took off from Anderson Air Force Base. This test launched a full prototype operational hypersonic missile and focused on the Aero's end-to-end -end performance, the spokesperson said. The Air Force gained valuable insights into the capabilities of this new cutting-edge technology from the event. This marks the first launch of an Aero missile, or any other recognized American hypersonic weapon, in this particular region. Consequently, the test serves as a notable signal across the Pacific, particularly directed towards China. The AGM-183A Aero is a long-range hypersonic missile. The missile was designed to enhance the U.S. Air Force hypersonic strike capacity, enabling it to engage heavy, fortified, high-priority targets like enemy military installations and surface warships from standoff distances. Hypersonic weapons travel at speeds greater than Mach 5 or more than 3,836 miles per hour and are highly maneuverable, which makes them difficult to track and shoot down. The extreme speed of hypersonic weapons and the ability to fly in unpredictable paths give them a much higher probability of penetrating modern air defenses. Essentially, hypersonic weapons combine the speed of ballistic missiles with the maneuverability of cruise missiles. This type of weapon will be very hard to track, let alone intercept. The AGM-183 comprises a rocket booster and an unpowered hypersonic boost glide vehicle housed within the missile's nose cone. The booster propels the boost glide vehicle to the desired speed and altitude, where it is then separated from the rest of the weapon and then glides to the target, attaining hypersonic speed. Aero is a weapon that can be launched from standoff distances without getting inside the engagement envelope of enemy air defenses. In 2017, Lockheed Martin won the contract to begin aero development. The company had stated it wanted to meet the desired production targets within three years, but the program got delayed due to technical challenges. While several tests were carried out, issues kept creeping up. The aero program was designed as a rapid prototyping initiative aimed at swiftly creating vehicles for testing and showcasing an ability to produce the system at scale quickly. The agreement stipulated the creation of leave-behind assets that could be utilized in operational scenarios, 
or for additional tests following the completion of the initial development. The U.S. Air Force has not revealed the quantity of arrows intended for production or the number reserved for subsequent testing. Since it became an American territory in 1898, Guam has been considered a vital asset by Washington. It lies in the Pacific, east of the Philippines. Its proximity to China, Japan, and the Korean Peninsula hand the U.S. a launching pad into Asia, and as such, it's been built up into a military fortress. The U.S. runs a naval base and coast guard station in the south of the island, as well as an air force base in the north, which was regularly used during the Vietnam War. Guam's significance spans regional security and diplomatic efforts, symbolizing America's commitment and serving as a central hub for military drills and collaboration with Pacific allies and partners. The base stands as a crucial component in this broader strategic calculus, given its proximity to China and anticipated pivotal role should conflict arise in the region. Experts argue that China's expanding anti-access area denial A2AD, capabilities underscore the necessity for the development and evaluation of a next-generation air-launched standoff weapon. China's A2AD capabilities in the Pacific pose a threat to U.S. and allied military installations and supply lines, hinder access to theaters, and fortify vital assets in potential crises involving Taiwan or the South China Sea. The test is something CCP can't overlook since Arrow has a range of 1,000 miles or about 1,600 kilometers, and when carried by a bomber like B-52, can hit any target in China. China is concerned, and this is reflected in its criticism of the U.S. military's capability enhancement in Guam. In August last year, Beijing warned Washington against turning Guam into a U.S. outpost to wage wars. Senior Colonel Wu Chen, spokesman for China's defense ministry, said, as for Guam, its security depends on what role the U.S. wants Guam to play. If Guam were to be an outpost to wage wars, it would not be secure, even if it were armed to the teeth. The rationale behind the revival of Arrow for testing remains ambiguous, primarily due to the lack of specific information from the USAF. However, the reappearance of the Arrow suggests that reports of the program terminal may have been overstated. Regardless of the Arrow's future trajectory, China will be closely monitoring the developments. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.